we are so excited that you've joined us again today. I can't wait to hear today's message. Me too. Remember to follow the actions and play along, shout out the answers to questions and have fun. And let's dive straight into worship.
so today the memory verse comes from Hebrews 10 verse 23. So now we must cling tightly to the hope that lives within us, knowing that God always keeps his promises. So let's try that together. Hebrews 10 verse 23. So now we must cling tightly to the hope that lives within us, knowing that God always keeps his promises. Good job, guys. Bye. Happy Sunday! I hope you're having a great Sunday so far and I'm so excited to share today's Bible story with you. Today's story is about Jacob and Jacob's uncle Laban and Laban's two daughters Leah and Rachel. But before we get into the story, I want to ask you a question. It's a question that everyone has been asking for the past few weeks when they do the message and I'm sure you know the question and the answer by now. So today's big picture question, can you remember what the big picture question is? Let me hear you say it. Okay, if you, some of you don't remember, here's what it is. The big picture question is, does God keep his promises? Well, the answer to that question is, as you all should know, God always keeps his promises because he is faithful. Now, I want you to say that with me. Does God keep his promises? Yes, God keeps his promises because he is faithful. And today we're gonna see that in our Bible story with Jacob and Laban and Leah and Rachel. But let's quickly watch this, watch this Bible story before we get into it. Jacob traveled from Bethel toward his uncle Laban's land. He came to a well where shepherds were watering their sheep. The shepherds were from Haran. Do you know a man named Laban? Jacob asked. Yes, they said. Here comes his daughter Rachel with his sheep. Rachel brought the sheep to the well and Jacob gave them water. Jacob told Rachel that he was her relative, a son of Rebekah. <gasps> Rachel ran to tell her father Laban. Laban welcomed Jacob into his house. Jacob stayed with Laban and worked for him. After about a month, Laban said, What should I pay you for your work? Now, Laban had two daughters. The older was named Leah, and the younger was Rachel. Jacob loved Rachel. So he said, I will work for you seven years if you will let me marry Rachel. Laban agreed. Jacob worked for seven years, but he loved Rachel so much that that seven years seemed like only a few days. Then Laban had a feast, but instead of giving Rachel to Jacob, Laban gave his older daughter Leah. Jacob was upset. Why did you trick me? He asked. Laban said, around here, the older daughter must be married before the younger. I will give you Rachel too, but you must work another seven years. So a week later, Jacob married Rachel. Then he worked for Laban seven more years. Now Jacob had two wives, but he loved Rachel more than Leah. When God saw Leah was not loved, he gave her children. Rachel wanted children too. God heard her prayer, and in time, God gave her children too. In all, Jacob had 12 sons, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, Asher, Issachar, 
Zebulun, Joseph, and Benjamin. God told Jacob to go home to the land of Canaan. So Jacob gathered his family and his possessions, and he headed home. Nothing could stop God's plan for the family of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Even though Jacob did not love Leah, God loved her and used her in his plan. Through the family of Jacob and Leah's son Judah, God would show his love for the world by sending his son to be the savior he promised. Whoa, what a tricky Bible story. It seems like Jacob, the tricky trickster from last week, made his match in his uncle Laban. This Bible story was bold with tricks, but sadly, these tricks were dealing with people's lives and feelings definitely got hurt. All these tricks showed times when Jacob and Laban didn't trust God to keep his promises. It showed that each person was trying to accomplish God's plan on their own, or even worse, they tried to accomplish their own plan for their own life. How sad is that? They didn't trust God that he would keep his promises to them, to give them the best in their life. So, God had a better plan for Jacob than what Jacob had for his life. God had chosen him to be a family leader. So, if you can remember, just think a little bit, put your thinking cap on and can you remember, we did a few stories back about Abraham. Now, Abraham couldn't have any children, but then God said to him, I'm going to give you children and as many children as the stars in the sky. So he gave Abraham a blessing. Then Abraham gave that blessing to his son, Isaac, and Isaac gave that to his son, Jacob. So Jacob had a blessing from God that he was going to have a wife and have kids and his kids would be as many as the stars in the sky. But it was so sad because Jacob didn't trust God that that would happen. He tried to do it by himself. How sad is that? So when we trust God, we don't have to worry and control our lives. We just allow him to control our lives. We don't have to worry. So, let's remember our big picture question today. Does God keep his promises? Yes, God does keep his promises. Why? Because he is faithful. And Jacob needed to remember that because he didn't remember and he didn't trust God. And he tried to do things by himself. So, we don't have to feel unloved like Leah did because God loves all his children. So Leah didn't get chosen first by Jacob. Jacob chose Rachel actually, but God still loved her and he wanted to use her. So Leah had a lot of children and one of those children became the great, 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 great grandpa of Jesus. So God had a special place for her in his big plan and because he loved her. So we don't have to worry because God loves all of his children and he has a plan for all of us. So despite all of these tricks, nothing could stop God's plan for the family of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. So we focused on God's promise to Jacob today. but. As children of God, this becomes our promise too. How exciting is that? We need to remember that because that is so exciting. God will always be with us and watch over us just as a good shepherd watches over his sheep. How exciting is that? He will always be with us and he will never leave us. And we need to trust him that he will guide us when we go through life. So as we think about today's Bible story today, let's do a quick prayer. Say it after me, okay? Lord God, thank you for your word. Through the Bible, 
we see that you love us so much. Even when others are unloving to us, your love never changes. Help us to share your love with others, especially those who may feel lonely or misunderstood. Amen. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Bible story and I'll see you soon. Bye. Can you guess quicker than the people playing? It's 30 seconds. Go. Alright, you use it when you sit. Um, a thermometer. No. Uh, a medicine. Yes. Uh, you, uh, you use it to uh, make your bike tires uh, go bigger. Um, um, a compressor. No. I'm a pump. Yes. Uh, your brother has one that you play games on. A PlayStation. Which um, which one? PS4. Yes. Uh, it's kind of it's kind of like uh, oh, a pump. dead gray. Oh, okay. How many did you get, Lila? Three. Oh, you got one, two, three. Oh, yeah, we got three. Okay, now go the other way. Mom, I put it in. Two, one, two, two, two. Put it off the one, two, three, two, one, go. Okay. Um, what Carl's Gray's on? A field. Um, Robert, yes. Um, um, you take it to school, um, a lot, like in America, you have a school. A school bag. No, a school. You take it to get there. A school bus. Yes. Um, it's like you write to someone overseas and it's called a something. Email. No, um, a letter. In a letter. Yeah, but what do they call it? A? Post mail. No, a something pile. You didn't turn the time off. Oh. <laughs> that <laughs> that <is>. again. <laughs> yes. That was so... Okay. One, go. Okay. Um, it's this. Um, you use the knee. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um, you um. What's the thing? <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Um, they mine it like in mines and Diamond. no gold. No. Let's go. It's second to gold, but I am no. Like if you're winning Emerald. something, someone's. Gold, then something, then bronze. Or bronze, something gold. Silver! Yes! Okay, you sit down on like a blanket and then you eat food on like a field or something. Picnic? Yes. Okay, so next one. Um, it makes kids go crazy when you have it. And you use it in a lot Thumbs of recipes. Oh. oh, sugar. You got four, Levi. Okay, boys, tell us how many points you have in total. Seven. Seven! Let's see if the girls can beat you. One go. Okay, um, it's a wiggly, a wiggly in the ground, they, they compost a wiggly, uh, a wiggly, word. okay, yes, um, so I'm, I'm going to plunge, the other word is, from the, into the swimming pool, Down. no, 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 like special, like, when okay. you start a yes, um, <laughs> so instead of washing your dishes, you put it in a what? Dishwasher. Yes, um, so I was wearing it earlier around my head, Down. but for what? Down. Yes, um, a uh, basket? Oh. No, a basket is like a shop. Come up. No, bargain. <laughs> bargain basket. No. Okay, so okay. how many Some points side. did you get? Uh, four. Okay. Switch side? Yeah, four. Switch side? Yeah. No, no. Well, we should have faces in here. Yeah. I'm watching the time. No, 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 the other way, the other way. She turned around. Three, two, one, go. Uh, we you walk and you run. Okay, um. Okay, when you say you go to the doctor. No? It's a place. Hospital. Yeah. Um. We have a. Outside have what do you have? Struggle gym. No, what, what's another word? Table, stage, playground. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um. Um. Do you have a Quote. Yeah. Uh, Come on. Okay. okay. How many points did you get in total? Um. 
I think it's five. No, six. Okay. You hit so it. it's six points in total. Yay! Yay! And we have boys and girls. Um, they're, they're skinny and they tough. Tough. No. Leggings. Um, no. Jeggings. No. They tough. Tough. What? Skinny. What? Skinny jeans. Yes. <laughs> um, you got. Oh, uh, and one no, one person is there, one person is there, and one that's there. Yes. Um. Uh. You know when like there's other like chocolate or water and it's going like that. It. Yes. Um. Uh. Riley, they play the glove. They throw the what? The it ball. is. Um. No. The what ball. Yes. Um. It's now and then. Yes. And then you have the little things that grow out of the ground. They're really pretty. And um, flowers. Oh, uh, yes. Flowers. Um, <laughs> you're going in if you're a criminal to do Jail. Some, yes. Okay. No. So, how many do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Woohoo! <laughs> 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 yes. Let's go. Okay, when you go to school, what, gets, what do you have to take home? Um, homework. Um, when you get a letter, you have to go where to fetch it? Uh, uh, the office. The what office? The, the post office. Yes. Uh, what is this? A full bed. Yes. Uh, when you're in the pool and you're lying on it, floaty. No, or float. Or uh, the uh, 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 Are you ready to answer some questions from today's message? Let's start. It seems that Jacob the trickster met his match when he met his uncle, Laban. But how did Laban trick Jacob? Laban tricked Jacob into marrying his two daughters, Leah and Rachel when Jacob only wanted to marry Rachel. Hmm, those tricky tricksters. When Jacob and Laban played their tricks, what did it show us? It showed us that Jacob and Laban didn't trust God to keep his promises, so they tried to do things their own way. Sadly, their way got a lot of people's feelings hurt because it wasn't what God had planned. Last question. Does God keep his promises? Yes, God always keeps his promises because he is faithful. We hope you learned something today. And we hope you had fun today. Bye! Remember that if you don't have the exact same things as in the video, you can be creative by colouring in blank paper the colour that you need, using scissors to cut things to the shape you need, and finding other things that might help you.
I loved learning how nothing can stop God's plan. Yes, because of his covenant with Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. We loved spending time with you as well. See you next week. Bye.